two, one. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Tim Hart, branch manager of Van Dyke Mortgage here in Fort Myers, Florida. Here with a good friend of mine from, you know, got to know each other the last several years, Eric Raditz. Eric, how you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you doing, Tim? You look good as ever, and I love the exposed brick. Listen, it's, uh, it's luckily that's the only thing I'm exposing today, Eric. You yeah, know, that was the brick. It's, so. it's still legal in, in all 50 states to expose your brick. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm a married man. Um, yeah, no, hey, but listen, thanks for joining me today. And you guys, we got a special treat. Eric, um, he's a, he's a, a, a man around town with uh, some of the things he does. And I think he does a super cool event. I want to make sure you all knew about it. It's called the Fort Myers Film Festival. And it's coming up, and Eric is here to talk about it. So, Eric, um, one, um, let's get into uh, what the festival is, and then maybe I'll hear a little bit of how you get how you you brought it up. So, first, sure. let us know about the film festival. What what's going on with this thing? Absolutely. Well, we're excited to be in our twelfth year at the Fort Myers Film Festival. Twelve if years. You, twelve years. And if you've been to other film festivals, that might be ones that you've heard of: Sundance Film Festival. Tribeca Film Festival, South by Southwest Film Festival. Now we have a film festival here in Southwest Florida. It's the Fort Myers Film Festival. And so it has been ongoing for 12 years. Uh, we're very excited for it to be taking place May 18th through 22nd, 2022. Uh, for those of you who are looking at this years, to, years from now, uh, downtown at the Sydney and Burn Davis Art Center. Tickets are available at fortmyersfilmfestival.com. And uh, the Sydney and Burn Davis Art Center is an amazing art center in downtown Fort Myers, uh, which has our shows and all kinds of shows. And we roll out the red carpet, opening night, May 18th. Uh, we play, we're playing 75 independent films. These are films not in distribution or films you can find streaming yet. Uh, so they're fresh films. And generally people who come to the Fort Myers Film Festival will later say, uh, oh, I saw that film that I watched back when I screened it at the film festival. And now it's on HBO Max. Now it's on Amazon Prime. Now it's on uh, some of the streaming channels. So we're really seeing fresh independent films, uh, Voices International from all over the world with features, documentaries, shorts, short shorts, uh, local films, student films. And we uh, really strongly uh, are supportive of our local and uh, Florida filmmakers at the Fort Yeah. Myers. Well, first off, I'm pretty sure that your film festival is bigger than Sundance and all the other ones you named. I mean, let's just get that out of the way, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's bigger, but it's... Uh... <laughs> It's I like it more. And if you're coming in, it's certainly a better uh, environment because you have the beautiful beaches of South Florida as a backdrop and usually very nice temperatures at Sundance. It's very cold. Uh, we might not be more renowned, but I'm more excited about our film festivals here than Sundance. And I go every year and I am a fan of Sundance. So. Yeah, no, I just mess around. And, and uh, by the way, we need to say you're filming today on location, right? Yeah. It, it looks like you got a studio all around you here. Yeah, I'm. Uh, this is uh, for those of you who who want to know what it looks like uh, upstairs in the booth at the uh, Davis Art Center. This is kind of what it looks like. I'm taking some time to compile uh, and make sure that we have everything in check, ready to go. Uh, we're only a week and a couple of days out, so just finishing touches at this point. And if it looks as if you might see wires or a little, I don't know what we have back there, photos and cords, and this, it's kind of what it looks like. Um, upstairs at the city for Dave Art center i see like, there's a trash sign back there so is that like if you guys play a movie that everyone hates at the festival you just chuck it in there or something right. <laughs> yeah what'd you think of that film um <laughs> trash trash <laughs> funny <laughs> no, well, i don't so, know yeah. oh no i was gonna say like um you know this is something really unique to our area in 12 years you've been doing it how amazing man great job um you know on doing that and being so consistent with it um, what, what are some of the things that you have, like some of the, uh, highlights you have coming like that, that people that are into films and stuff will really be, uh, excited to see. Well, we have, um, several films that are already getting some buzz. One in particular is called Calendar Girls. It is our opening night film. That's May 18th at seven o'clock downtown the Sydney Verde Arts Center. Uh, it's a story about local dancers and these are 60 plus dancers. And you might've seen them at farmer's markets or at different shops and places and parties. Um, they're a volunteer troop of, of gals um, who go out and dance for folks. And uh, a couple of uh, filmmakers from Sweden were visiting this area and they happened to think that it was pretty cool what they were doing. So they started following and, and filming them. 
Well, it actually got accepted into Sundance this past January, where they didn't screen it virtually, they only screened it virtually. Uh, and it's a great film. Uh, and we're going to play it here probably about fifth or sixth in the nation at the Fort Myers Film Festival here in the backyard of the actual Calendar Girls. And they're going to come out uh, and perform. Um, that's just one, and that's getting a lot of buzz. And we're likely to sell out in which case we might actually have a second screening on Sunday, uh, May 22nd at 4 p.m. Um, it was a film uh, playing on Friday night called The Runner. Uh, it's, it's starring a couple of known actors uh, who, and it's a, kind of an LA film. Um, in it is one Cameron Douglas, uh, for those who are keeping score, that's Michael Douglas's son, uh, Cameron Douglas, uh, and uh, Edward Philab, Philab thought it. I can never pronounce his last name correctly. Uh, these guys, uh, they plan on coming in for the fest, um, and that one's getting a lot of buzz. In addition to, uh, it's kind of a life story of Cameron Douglas, who went through uh, some addictive issues, uh, may, gained sobriety, he's been sober for uh, 30 years now, and we're going to do a benefit to benefit Kimmy's kids, uh, which is a nonprofit helping those with addiction here in Southwest Florida. That's Friday night, 7 p.m. Uh, at the City Bird Davis Art Center. Uh, Saturday is chock full of a lot of local and interesting films. Uh, Apples, Oranges, Lemons, Limes is a film that's getting some buzz. It's by Patrick Mitchell, who happens to live in Southwest Florida. Uh, he, and his cast and crew, I believe, will be in attendance that Saturday, 6 p.m. at the City Burn Davis Art Center. And then all Sunday, you'd be surprised at the kind of films that we have. Um, documentaries on human trafficking, a documentary, be, a documentary uh, about uh, Cuba, Cuba Voices, uh, which is narrated by uh, Andy Garcia. And it's about uh, those who had difficulties leaving uh, when Fidel Castro came to rise back in 1959, uh, as well as The Long Breakup. It's a film about uh, the, the slowly degrading relationship between Ukraine and Russia. This was filmed in and before uh, the war broke out, uh, as well as our closing night awards ceremony and filmmaker panel of the filmmakers who come together Sunday at 5.30 p.m at the Sunday at the Sydney Murray Davis Art Center for a, a nice, interesting filmmaker look and panel Q&A interactive and rooftop party at Sydney's, the cool uh, open space atop the Sydney Murray Davis Art Center afterwards. And that's open to the public. Um, those are just a few of the highlights, Tim. And please forgive me if you found nothing interesting. I always tell people if you're not sure what to watch and you don't wanna go all in on one of these particular films, pick some of the short blocks of films. We have global shorts, we have environmental shorts, we have rom-com shorts, we have steamy late night shorts, and we have weird and interesting animated shorts. If you get a block of films, you usually have five or six that are in there and there's usually one or two that you like. So get a block of films um, if you're not sure what to see. Is that too much or too little? <laughs> no, that's great, man. You, <laughs> like if, if people don't get to know you sometimes, you know, I've got the pleasure of getting to know you over the years, man. You are such a good dude and your passion for this stuff and everything you do. Um, you're also the editor, you know, editor of Florida Weekly, correct? Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And Florida Weekly, uh, big, biggest uh, and I would say that's uh, a news magazine in all of Florida. Uh, we're in eight different locations all throughout Florida. I'm the editor at the uh, Fort Myers Florida Weekly and the presentation editor, artistic director for all of them. And Pick up Florida Weekly on stands online on your device. At mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to Florida Weekly. They're like, um, you know, as far as papers go, just so uh, a positive and, and, and informing. And I always enjoy it. I appreciate that stuff. Hey, just so you know, like if you uh, come up short on two films, you know, you need need something short real quick. I got one with me and football pads. Me and my buddy, we, it's called the fourth quarter. You can plug that in there. Uh, if you yeah. need my... The Barbie doll one about quick and loans, you know, we did. Let, you I love, know. I've seen both of them and I love both of them. And I was kind of wondering why you didn't submit them to for consideration for the film festival. But next year, next year, next year. OK, they, next year we're putting you, something in. We're, we're going to go for it. And I'll, and I'll throw it back to you because I know you're not used to uh, getting this kind of attention. But you are the man and you're projecting but you're a great guy and you're so multi-talented and um so funny, and and I know what you do at Van Dyke Mortgage uh, for helping people uh, get into new homes, refinancing their homes. Uh, I don't I don't really know anyone else like you uh, or your group of team who who goes to bat and helps those. I have lots of stories uh, I have heard, and I know about you, and I and you are you are fantastic. So I like that you. This is why you hang out with good people because they start to project onto you that you're also awesome. But I quite possibly not nearly as awesome as you are, Tim. Um, 
but thank you for those remarks. What an amazing session. This was fun. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I was always. Uh, and listen, if you guys are remotely interested in this, I mean, go support a Fort Myers Festival. Uh, you know, spend a little time downtown, cool place, revitalizing a lot of it. And again, Eric, if they want to go, where can they buy tickets? Check us out at fortmyersfilmfestival.com. You can download your guide in advance or pick up your guides down at the City Arts Center. Uh, or at uh, if it's not sold out, you can get them also in person when you show up uh, to your screening at the box office. Um, and, and the dates are again? Uh, May 18th through 22nd, and that's uh, in and around Southwest Florida, but mostly downtown at the City and Burn Davis Art Center. Cool. Good deal. Do, do we miss anything? You good? I, I just want to say thank you for being a part. I think you 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 should have your own show. I am fine being in the sidekick at your show. Uh, um, I'll, I'll be your Ed McMahon to your Johnny Carson any day, Tim. You're hilarious, and thank you for thank you for promoting this and taking the time and 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 let me know if you want to see a film or two. Uh, I, I'll, I'll get you a ticket. Let me know. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. And uh, Eric, keep up the great work. Check us out festival out. Buy Florida Weekly. It's a great newspaper. Uh, if I can help you refinance your current mortgage or buy a new home, I'm always here to help as well. And do us a favor here in the local community. Share this with someone you know that may be interested in going to this festival, okay? It'll be a cool event for them. They'll love it if they're into movies and art, whatever else. Get them plugged in with the festival and Eric and all the stuff he does. All right. So, again, Eric, sir, thank you for being with us today, buddy. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. I just want to, just want to sign up by just letting you know it's really bright. The future is so bright. <laughs> I gotta wear shades. I wish like, you'd be able to see us trying to set that light up earlier. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye bye.